There's that old question, would you rather be invisible or would you rather fly? I think we're answering it with flight in this game. Dark Void was something that kind of organically fell into place. In the beginning, um, when we were initially talking with Capcom, we had, you know, uh, we had a guy with a grappling hook. Uh, it, he would get in planes, and he would fly around, and he'd jump out, and he'd parachute, and you'd fight big robots. It started out with a really solid foundation, but we found ourselves at one point going, you know what, this just isn't cool enough. There's something missing, you know, something really big. We all went off, we thought about it, and about a week later, Jose came back. He hadn't slept. He's, you know, he's scribbling on the whiteboard, showing me stuff, and he goes, here it is. It's, it's vertical combat. You know, on a horizontal surface, I'm in cover, and if I stand up and get off that cover, I'm standing up and I can run around it. On a vertical surface, when you're moving up and you're fighting, you can't stand up. And in fact, if you try to, you're going to fall to your death. So if no longer are you able just to hunker down completely safe while you reload and the enemies wait for you to come to them. Now you're holding on with one hand and you're scaling up vertical surfaces and you're scaling down. You feel like there's a 360 degree combat sphere because you're looking up, down, to the side, behind you, over your shoulder, scanning for targets. So suddenly you feel like you're in the center of just this chaotic mess. Vertical combat started to stretch the whole project into ways that we never anticipated. The rocket pack followed afterwards. We did redesigns of the environment from scratch to support it all. It all fell into place when we got those new ideas. The jetpack is not perfect. And that's one reason why it's awesome. There's almost a sense of, of being in just barely in control with this jetpack. In other words, it, it, it feels like you've just strapped a 30-pound rocket to your back, and when you hit the go button, there's that moment of chaos where your arms and legs are flailing and you you take off. When I was a kid, I used to be on rope swings a lot, and that was kind of fun. There's always that moment where right after you get off the rope swing, there's that, ooh, you know, you have that moment where your stomach kind of drops out. I think that's a fun feeling, and hopefully we can capture some of that in here. So, this is the feeling of the world and the world. It's really the feeling of the world and the world. It's really the feeling of the world and the world. 人間はできませんけども、本当に自分が飛んでですね。If you've played some of the previous games that a lot of people at Airtight have worked on, like Crimson Skies, you have a really good idea for what our flight mechanics are going to be like, and that's accessible, a little arcadey. When you hit that button, you take off. We want it to feel like, okay, cool, I get it, I know how to fly this thing. This is a game where we want you to just have a blast, either on foot or flying. So, this is it. It's a very good thing. 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 It's a very the jetpack, when you first get it, it starts off uh, sort of diminutive. It's a hover pack, which in and of itself is pretty awesome because that leads into the ability to do a lot of jumps around the battlefield, get in the air, do some cool flanking. And then through the upgrade, you actually get to even add more onto that. Your, your rocket pack becomes a little more durable, you get a little more boost, and eventually you get guns on it. And so what we're trying to do is give the player a number of different experiences instead of just one over and over. You've got your guns, you're hitting cover, you're blind firing. And just start meleeing and taking them out so you could be on foot sometimes, you could be doing vertical. You're zipping around through all these different canyon areas. Eventually you're jumping onto UFOs, running around the outside of it. You're sort of ducking and weaving from the pilot. Trying to piss off the robotic guy inside so he opens up his hatch, jumping in there. Expose the pilot, bust him in the head. And then you're taking over that UFO and in a very kind of Crimson Skies-esque way, using that UFO to blow up all of these other vehicles. And suddenly I'm going, holy crap. It's definitely visceral, and any way you look at it, it's way more fun to shoot someone in the head at point blank than it is to sort of whittle away from long range. So it's, it's nice to bring ground combat into the air in that way. 